So this is my blue robotics powered Arduino controlled powered kayak. I'll start with the motors here. These are made by Blue Robotics. They make a bunch of individual products to build your own underwater UAV. It's a brushless motor at 16 volts. It's supposed to put out 11 pounds of thrust. I'm running at 12 volts, so it's about 8 pounds of thrust. They have these motor mounts that are extra with the ESC, the electronic speed control. You're looking at about $200 a piece for each motor. I've got those mounted to just steel conduit that you can get from Lowe's. I bought a six foot piece of straight, I bought a 90 degree bend, and I bought these connectors, and it was all about $20. One thing you definitely have to do though is you have to screw in all the way through the pipe. These threads, when I first tried it out, were just thumb tight and it twisted right here and the motor twisted right out of the water. So I've got screws going all the way through both pipes to secure the load. Now those are connected to a 1.25 inch U-channel made out of aluminum I got from Online Metals. It just pivots here at the top with a AN3 bolt. It's a 3 16 inch bolt. So when you lower it down, you just lower it like this goes into this channel. I've got a magnet here that snaps into place and pulls it down. And when you thrust forward or backwards, the channel keeps it from pushing too far forward, too far back. It just keeps it in place. And this is the stowed position they are in now, so you can transport your kayak without having to worry about the motors being in much peril. I kept the width about the size of the kayak so I could get it in my backyard through the gate. I originally had both of them on one channel, but I had problems with transport because they were straight up and down and they wouldn't stay upright. So I put it one in front of the other like this. It makes it nice to reach back there with one hand and tilt it all the way across and get them down in the water. Now the pipe is holding the wire. The wire goes through the pipe comes out down here. I built a, I cut a channel for the pipe, for the cord to go through underneath. And those are connected to trolling motor connectors. They're way too big for this application, but I bought them for about 20 bucks, so I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna replace them later with something smaller. It's way over kill. They're about 30 amp. Once they connect into the box, they are secure. So that leads us to our box. This box I got from Academy. It's an ammo box. It was only about $20. I like it. The best thing about it is it pulls over the side so you can tilt it open. So here's electronics powering the kayak. I've got two wheelchair batteries that I already had, so I'm using these. I really would like to go for one battery eventually. They're both 27 amp hour piece. So I've got 54 amp hours worth of capacity. They're wired in parallel. So you can see the wires come here. They go up to a 50 amp circuit breaker. So if anything goes away, this will pop. Then it's wired into this kill switch this can carry 130 amps. I'm really glad I found this because all the kill switches I found were 5 amp, so I'd have to run a solenoid and a kill switch somewhere. This has got both in one. All you do is you put this pin and it powers it right up. So following the power down, we go to our battery bus. This is, I found at Cabela's for about $20. It's just got a positive and negative bus. Both ESCs, electronic speed control, is right here on either side, left and right. I've got those wired up to the trolling motor connectors. Again, they're way overkill on the wire size. But I'm really impressed with these ESCs. They have not overheated whatsoever. I've been out for two hours, half hours, off and on running. I've run for 30 minutes continuous, and these have never overheated or cut out. 
Now these signal wires go into the control unit. This is a Arduino. It's called a Borduino, made by Adafruit. It's just a streamlined version of what a normal Arduino would be. It's got a power supply, it's got the chip, and it's got the wires coming out the sides that I've soldered in directly to the board. I've got the uh, connector wired in, so we've just got power, and we've got uh, left and right, well, we've got left, right, up and down signals going up to this pin, and this is where the joystick plugs in. Again, this is, I got this off of electric wheel, wheelchair as well. Screws in, makes a nice tight connection. Come up here. I use the original hardware from the wheelchair to connect it to my seat. So when I'm ready to disconnect, I just have to loosen this knob. It'll come right off. All I've got hooked up right now is the joystick. I've got a speed control and some other switches that I'm going to work up. LEDs, bar graph, so I'll be able to keep track of the battery length. But this is just the uh, initial testing to make sure that the, the system was working correctly. So once you power this up, it's very simple. I just got this on top in case there's any water and also keeps all the wires connected nicely. Snaps tight as a water tight seal. Once you put the motors in the wire, you just you connect up the power and you're gonna hear the motors initialize. Now that's the motors are initialized, it's ready to go. And just with the movement of the joystick, our motors will move back and forth. You can't run too long out of the water because the bearings will burn up. So that's the uh, walkthrough of the Arduino T200 powered kayak.